Okay, these are just super cheap, super easy little toy mice. No eyes, no ears, it's just a little bitty tube with a tail. Um, this is what happens when you use nice heavy yarn. You get a relatively solid mouse. This is what happens when you use really thin yarn. You don't want this. Tell what the, the problems are. Um, the fluff, the, the stuffing inside is far too easy to pull out and the yarn is so thin it would be really easy for a cat to tear, chew off the tail and swallow, anything like that. Really not very safe. And, and sure. if nothing else, it's a lot less less aesthetic. I said, oh, blah, aesthetically appealing. <laughs> and show the good one. However, this one is made out of a relatively heavy yarn. It's just cheap, a, a cheap dollar store acrylic yarn. And this one's much more substantial. Um, I'm making these as disposable toys, but you could wash this no problem. And the cats really don't care whether there's eyes, ears, whiskers, and all that kind of stuff. It's plenty appealing to every cat I've given one to. Okay, so here's how to make one. You don't have to know how to knit, crochet, or anything else complicated. Um, you do, however, need a corking spool. Um, I've had this since I was about eight years old. I finally found a use for it. It is just plastic. It's got six pins. I really recommend using a six pin one rather than a four pin one. I've tried with the four. It doesn't work very well for the mice. Um, you can probably track one down at a craft store or for that matter a yard sale or what have you. Okay, so super basic. You might even be able to make one. Uh, heavy yarn, stuffing out of an old pillow, make sure it's clean obviously, but that's all it is. Um, the hooks that I use is actually for hooking rugs, and you'll see why I find this really useful in a minute. Could you hold that up against your shirt so I can see the end? It's actually for hooking rugs, which is why it's got the little movable doohickey on it, okay. but I find it quite handy for this. And a pair of scissors. Yeah. Okay. So, take the spool, feed the yarn down in the middle, and flip it around like that. And then just keep doing that all the way around. Okay, so that you've got all six pins wrapped. Try and hold on to the bit down the middle so that there's some kind of tension. Now, you pass it across the first pin that you started off with, and hook the lower one, pull it up and over. Okay. And you keep repeating that up and over the top. And my cameraman is moving the camera closer and knocking things off the table. But Sorry, that's I'm okay. I was wondering, I just need to get to see Three. it closer. Four. Five and six. So back around to the beginning. Now, this is where the this hook comes in really handy. Okay, I'm gonna try to make sure that you can see this okay. Corking or spool knitting um, makes a really lovely tube, but it doesn't tie off very tightly at the end where you begin at least not tightly enough to hold the stuffing in. So what I do is, okay, um, this is the pin that you started off on. Go to the pin beside it, okay, just past that there's a stitch. Slide underneath that, grab the loose bit of, of yarn from down in the middle, pull it up and through. 
Was that the one that you were holding top? The one that was down in the middle that you're holding, yeah. Okay, and then just repeat that. Two. Feed it through. Grab that middle piece of yarn. Three. And I'm hoping that this is showing up okay. Four. And five. Back around and one more. This, by the way, would be really difficult to do <laughs> with um, just a little straight pin or, or small hook like this came with. Okay, so don't tighten it up yet. Just toss that back down the middle out of the way. Okay, and go back to working on this. Okay, and we're going to pause at this point because there's Actually, no... Actually, could you do me a favor? Could you show what you're doing? Could you show what it looks like from the side? From the side. Okay. So grab this bottom one and pull it up and over. And then I'm going to try to do this kind of upside down so I don't know how well this is going to work. Um, hook the bottom one and pull it up and over and try not to slide the whole thing off the pin. Let's try that again. It's a little trickier to do it upside down. You know how your hands get used to doing stuff? Okay. And then just wiggle it up and over. Okay. And you just keep going around and around and around and doing that until you've got an inch, inch and a half, two inches of tube, which will come down into the middle of it. Okay, so we're going to pause for a sec while I actually get to that point.